At a time when less and less people are attending church, teenagers in Upper State New York are seeking religion in their lives. It's important to have religion in our life because it gives us direction, it gives us purpose. Having religion gives you peace, gives you comfort. And it helps, especially us, the youth in high school, because we face with a lot of temptation. Nearly 200 years ago, in a little town called Palmyra, New York, Mormons believe Joseph Smith restored the gospel as it was organized by Jesus Christ when he was on the earth. The Smith Farm is a really special place because it, I guess, humanizes Joseph Smith for me because we like see this home and how humble it is and how he had really humble beginnings and it just makes it more real. Joseph Smith went to so many different churches. And falls short of the glory of God. And he wanted to know which of these churches was true. And he started reading the Bible and then he read James 1, 5. He had this big feeling in his heart that he should act on the scripture that he read. He asked Heavenly Father if which church to join, and he received an answer. These youth accept the counsel found in that Bible passage. I think it's important to ask God for direction in your life because there are so many confusing paths right now. But Heavenly Father wants the best for his children, and he will provide it. When we put things in perspective, it makes us think, wow, he's our father, he loves us, and then that makes, I guess, everything seem better because we know that we're, we're something. On Saturday, March 4th, a group of teenagers attended a special broadcast on the grounds of the historic Joseph Smith Farm with Mormon church leaders, President Henry B. Eyring of the First Presidency and Elder Jeffrey R. Holland of the Quorum of the Twelve Apostles. But you're a chosen, a royal generation. Young people had the rare opportunity to submit questions online before the event My question is, for the apostles to answer. A few teens got to ask questions live. What can we learn about personal revelation? It was one of the most wonderful experiences, really, was the, the feeling of being face to face with young people and then hearing the questions that came from them and feeling their hearts and their faith. It was extremely reassuring. We all need people to lean on, and particularly young people. I, we need heroes and heroines. We need uh, good examples, and uh, w we wanted, we wanted to have them leave here just believing your, uh, that they could universe. count on us, uh, that they knew that we knew. And uh, I think every generation needs that.